segment of the BTS vlogs. Yeah, Big Bang Theory House BTS vlogs. Uh, this is the first uh, segment of the 80th episode. Yeah, 89th, the 79th episode is in the editing bay right now as we speak. And uh, I thought we had a chance to do our peripatetics here, so let me give you time and date stamp. It is 17 hours and 8 minutes into the day of Monday, August. 22nd, 2016, and we are heading shopping. Yeah, I'm going to Sears because I got some nuts. I got about $90 worth of Sears points, so I'm going to go blow that. I'll get some bedding and then possibly, well, get some candy too. You know, you can't go shopping with the points and just get necessities. Well, for me, candy is a necessity. <laughs> I'm kind of a sugar fiend, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, walking keeps me healthy. This keeps me healthy, so uh, there's for me it's uh, not too much of an issue. Just uh, just gotta make sure you uh, you know over I don't overdo it with too much candy. But uh, you know, never hurts to have candy around. So that's where I'm going now. Uh, the delivery came in fine. Uh, the tablet is now charging, and It'll take me about three days, just about three days, to configure uh, the tablet to get it to where the customer will, uh, will like it when it gets into his hand. So, basically, what happens is the more often than not, uh, the stock configuration uh, that uh, comes with the factory is not necessarily a good, good configuration. It's basic, but it's not good. A lot of people want something, uh, well, more functional. And that's where I come in, is that uh, uh, people, when they get a tablet from me, get a fully functional tablet uh, that's already been configured. So when they get it home and when they get it to their house and turn it on, there's nothing to do but turn it on and that's it. And if they want to make changes, they can make changes, but uh, other than that, it's uh, uh, pretty much uh, easy going. And you can do more or less what you want to do with it. Now, I'm trying this now. I don't usually walk, walk at this hour, but there's a uh, cold front coming down from the Arctic. So instead of being 90 degrees plus, it is now just 72 degrees. There's a nice wind. So uh, walking is not necessarily a bad thing at this particular point in time. It's usually between uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon and six o'clock in the afternoon, that's when you get your high in terms of your heat. So, this particularly, in this season anyways. So what you wanna do is you wanna avoid uh, <laughs> walking at this time. So typically we never go walking at this time. And uh, again, this is not our typical shopping because we're going to, uh, to Sears. This is where we go to our bulk place as well. Bulk, bulk, the uh, bulk purchases are in the same direction. So, not all, all in all, not necessarily a bad day. I don't have anything to think of right now. I'm not really thinking of anything to talk about. But, uh, you may want to come back uh, as we continue along. I'll maybe think of something to say. Maybe on the way back we'll have uh, a more of a discussion. Anyways, I uh, will see you in the next segment because I'm coming across the street. And this is a major street, so off goes the camera. 
Alrighty, vlogging by security light again. It is 23 hours and uh, 54 minutes into the day of uh, Tuesday, August 23rd, 2016. Yeah, we're back for another uh, observation session outside uh, for atmospheric physics. Uh, now, now we're running the, the observation uh, program just about four hours from 10 to about 2 o'clock in the morning. And yeah, 10 p.m. to 2. And, uh, well, not much is going on tonight. I don't expect much to happen tonight. Uh, just, uh, I can see some of the cloud, the haze coming in. So some of the stars are obscured. It'll look, basically what I do is I look to see if I have a overlet. I see the overhead uh, haze coming into, into focus. What uh, I end up seeing is on, on the satellite. So when I come out here, how do I determine there's a, there's a haze? Well, you look at the stars, and the stars start twinkling a lot or they become obscured for bits, for a bit of time, then you understand that there's a haze back there, and this is where you begin to do your work in terms of understanding, okay, there's a haze there, how much of the haze is there, uh, what does it do to the starlight? The thicker the haze, basically the star starts to dance around, particularly if they're on the low end of the horizon. Uh, this is actually what causes people to believe sometimes there's UFOs. Or, oh, look at that object. It's moving around very quickly. Well, it's not. It's, it's these are effects that are occurring in the upper atmosphere. And um, when you're looking at it, when you're seeing the light coming to you, you're seeing it dance around because it's going through the different points in the cloud. This is diffraction. This is uh, uh, reflection. And that's exactly what's happening as it goes comes to your, uh, to your eyes. So... Anyways, uh, I'll leave this here for now. <laughs> it is one hour and five minutes into the day of Wednesday, August 24th, 2016. Yeah, I'm vlogging by security light again. That's what we're doing here. We're gonna get the right position. Here we go. That's good, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh,. Yeah, uh, I finished my observation more or less for tonight. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I didn't expect much to happen tonight. I expected more or less a clear sky and a very high ceiling. And that's what I saw today, very high ceiling. Uh, there was a slight haze coming in, but not much. Uh, and that's exactly what I saw on the satellite. So uh, I am now matching up observation with, the, uh, with what I see on the satellite. I've uh, got about uh, 10 different perspectives so far, and that uh, uh, that's, seems to be giving me a, a lot to sort of look at, a better understanding of what's going on in the atmosphere, and that means I can start uh, sort of expanding my horizons and sort of uh, push the uh, envelope and see what, what, what more I can actually see. I've got uh, a couple things I want to take a look at, but again, these things, they take time. Uh, yes, there are patterns that shift, that shift almost every three hours. There seems to be a three-hour shift uh, uh, to certain patterns, and then others can last a week and a half or even longer. So uh, the question is uh, what happens when and sort of just watching and seeing how things change when they change. And this is the, this is this is the thing of observation. Observation, particularly when doing long-term projects like this, uh, are not going to be overnight. They're not going to be very simple. They're not going to be uh, right away. And so you have basically long hours. Uh, well, four hours every night, right? Four hours every night doing the observation from ten o'clock at night until two o'clock in the morning. And usually, say it's, it's it's almost one o'clock. It's one, a little past one now. I'll be out for another half hour, forty-five minutes, and. That'll be it, and not much would have happened tonight. Uh, other nights, uh, I'll be out like this, and uh, unannounced, here comes a rainstorm, or, 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 or there are clouds that uh, uh, look uh, interesting enough, I can, I can actually film the clouds, right? So that's what I'm working on now, is filming the clouds. But if there's no clouds, this will be seen, there's nothing to film, so... Uh, <laughs> it come, becomes a rather boring night, so... Um, yeah, that's kind of what's happening here. I, I haven't vlogged as much as I should have. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the the schedule's kind of fallen off a little bit. But I will be vlogging again tomorrow because I will be doing uh, food shopping again tomorrow. Uh, I went regular shopping, but it just sort of not really silly food shopping. I got some interesting stuff. Well, actually, one main interesting. I, the thing I wanted to get 
I was pl- that I that initially, and this is the way things go sometimes. Is sometimes the things you intend to happen don't happen, but the things you don't intend to happen, or something you have no idea what's going to happen, happens. And that's what happened uh, yesterday. When I went from went uh, from my walk, I went to do the shopping. Uh, I found uh, that. Um, when I got out to Sears, that they had changed the rules for everything. The points that I had are now gone, and uh, that was that. So no, nothing more with Sears. But uh, as I was uh, walking to Sears, there was a store that had uh, luggage out for sale, and lo and behold, behold they had these nice uh, backpacks. Yeah, let me just check this here. Let me check for skunks. Yeah, I almost ran into a skunk today. Less, just a few hours, actually just a half, less than a half hour ago, almost ran into a skunk, so, <laughs> I gotta be careful with that, so, uh, I don't want to be really, I don't really want to be running into skunks out here, uh, at this time of night, so, uh, you do have to be careful, you do have to sort of watch around and sort of make sure, okay, yeah, everything's clear, everything's okay, uh, but beyond that, uh, uh, yeah, I picked up a nice little, t- uh, a, a small enough backpack, uh, that, uh, it's a kid's backpack. Uh, it's a Barbie backpack. It's got good pockets on the side so I can fit my phone in there. It's, it's, it basically, it's, it's, it's a carrying case for all my electronics. And I got it for $10. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend $70 on these fancy leather carrying cases for all my electronics. I'm not gonna do that. It's not, it's not who I am. I'm the type of person who will, I'll spend, well, yeah, I'll spend maybe, uh, uh, the most twenty dollars, but my preference is to spend just around ten dollars for something, and that's what I did. I got, I got a nice a nice bag uh, that, that it, it's large enough that will it will fit a laptop in it, so I can take carry I can carry both my tablets, my phone, uh, and a laptop uh, in this case. And like also I have my Bluetooth my Bluetooth uh, pill, pill speaker and this camera, so I can carry all these different things and not worry and still have room left over. So. Uh, I'm very happy with it. I mean, for ten bucks, that's that's a really great deal. Uh, see, holding it right, the uh, changes of the lighting on here. Is the, this is one of the things I noticed about some of the vloggers is that uh, they'll film into the light and they won't uh, sort of be careful with how things seem in the in the, in the uh, how they see in, in the, the sort of the brightness in the uh, monitor. And uh, sometimes the uh, it's either overexposed or it's underexposed. And uh, you don't get a good sh- uh, as good a shot as you could have gotten if you were just a little, a little bit more careful with these. But you know what? These are they're, they're learning. This is this is uh, I'm talking about the kids' vlog. They're learning. They're doing a good job. So at 12 years old, you can sort of go, go well, oh yeah, okay. Particularly when you see the parents even make the same mistakes. They they make the same mistakes in terms of uh, not aiming the camera properly, so you have either a, a picture that's overexposed or a picture that is underexposed so uh, you know dark so so uh, yeah anyways I'm gonna leave this here for now and I'll talk to you uh, probably for peripatetics tomorrow uh, we'll see what ends up happening I'll probably make my vlog before then uh, we'll have to sort of see how this ends up working out in terms of the amount of filming that it's actually gotten done so <laughs> you know did we get enough done, or did not not get enough done, or you know that's sort of the whole thing. You know, do I have enough to fill the the thirty minute episode or not? <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, oh yeah, uh, episode uh, seventy nine is still in is still in the uh, not it's done in the it's done editing, but it's gonna be described and then then uh, uh, put up maybe uh, sometime tomorrow. Anyways, I will talk to you. Uh, in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory, I'll BTS vlog. All right, take it easy. <clears throat> well, hello everybody. How you doing? Long time. Well, not a long time, but uh, well, time for another segment of Big Bang Theory's uh, BTS vlog. Yeah. <laughs> eh. Time and date stamp. It is four hours and ten minutes into the day of. Uh, Wednesday, August 24th, 2016, let's see, I thought that was going to be the end of the vlog, but I guess not, 
it's the end of the day anyways, so uh, we'll see what ends up happening tomorrow. I ended up staying up till, till now because uh, I had to finish making the tea. This is when the teapot, the teapot is now off. Not the pot, the whole brewing system. Uh, right now it's a new, I have a 9 liter brewing system for uh, uh, Chinese herbal tea. That is now off. Uh, and it's going to take close to 12 hours to cool down. Before I can put it, before I can bottle it and put it in the fridge. So that's uh, uh, the plans for now. So it's working while I'm sleeping. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I found that, that uh, this is, I said, talking before about physiology. I think the, it's been about a month and a half, two months. Actually, well, it was more than a month and a half. <laughs> it was. Um, anyways, March, April, May, June, July, August. Yeah, it's, it's been just about six months of uh, these, this Chinese herbal tea. It's, it is flavorful to have with milk. As uh, I always find pop, pop or uh, juice. So it's replaced my soft drink uh, uh, intake. Almost enti uh, entirely, actually. And um, the question was, what would be the health benefits from it? Would I have more energy? Would, uh, you know, would I have uh, improved eyesight? Because a lot of stuff is supposed to be good for your eyes. There's stuff like B uh, vitamin B in there. There's, there's uh, a whole range of vitamins, actually. I got a, I've got a list of things. Right now, I can't remember it off the top. My head. There's supposed to be benefits for uh, the cardiovascular system, and I do. I did notice some improvement, but uh, I also noticed that uh, there's a change in the body chemistry in terms of uh, how my body's. I noticed that uh, I'm drinking enough that you can actually uh, it affects my my body odor. Actually, now has hints of the tea in there, so. Uh, I know that has that effect, so I know it's going all the way through into the uh, into the sort of the sweat the the, the sweat gland. So it's reached it's reached all the different areas of the body. So that's a good thing uh, to a certain degree because you know I know it's uh, getting throughout. Now it's also supposed to deal with uh, hardening of the areas. That's ar arterial sclerosis. Uh, but the thing is, the only benefit that I do know is that I am. I don't have the fatigue that I had before. I do have fatigue. The fatigue is still there because, uh, you know, I'm not sleeping properly. Like, well, <laughs> 4 a.m. I'm going to bed, right? Uh, Monday, I got up at 10 a.m. Uh, at 10 a.m. After going to bed at 4 a.m. So, I am always missing, throughout the week, missing hours of sleep. You know, sometimes it's an all-nighter. Sometimes, uh, I'm able to catch up in my sleep, depending on where, uh, depending on how much extra time I have. And unfortunately, now with the way uh, the new schedule is working, it's uh, difficult to catch up on your sleep. It's difficult to sort of find time to sort of add in a couple extra hours here, a couple extra hours there. So I end up being short and. and but the thing is, what's happening now, and if you want, if you're looking at this, is, is that I'm vlogging in more places. I'm it, not, not just sort of vlogging all in one spot. Now it's starting to, to sort of uh, mix it up a little bit. I'm, I'm vlogging on the research desk. I'm vlogging outside. I'm vlogging where I'm doing my observation. I've vlo now I've vlogged in the front room where I've got the electronics bench. Oh. So I've vlogged in a variety of places, and, I'm, and, and now I'm vlogging back here, uh, right before I'm going to bed. So this gives the vlog a variety of different places, rather than just having the single one place uh, throughout the entire vlog. So we'll see what happens tomorrow when I get up, where I end up vlogging. 
really depends on when I get up and how I get up. Because these are often two different things. Is you know, <laughs> sometimes I, I get up and I'm not intending to get up, but I end up staying up because there are things that need to be done, or I'm checking on something, and I just end up staying up uh, instead of going back to bed again. So we'll see what ends up happening tonight, or actually tomorrow, and well later on today, anyways. Because uh, uh, tomorrow is really later on today. Uh, because it's already Wednesday. It's say 4 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. Quarter past 4. Uh, and if I get up around 10 o'clock. Maybe 11. Uh, that's just a couple hours from now. So. Uh, it's not necessarily tomorrow. So, <laughs> But I think if the mind thinks of it that way. That's the way the mind. And that's what I talked about before. Said I've talked about before how you miss days because you know, sometimes your waking periods are only a couple hours between each other and you think the day before was the, you know that that tired period before was the day before and it's not the day before it's just a couple hours prior well then you start you start missing up your days you start messing up uh, knowing when what day is where so uh, anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, I'll say good night because uh, I am falling asleep. So, uh, good night and uh, see you uh, in a couple hours. <clears throat> well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the uh, last segment, the final segment of uh, episode 80. Yeah, let me get myself situated here. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is the last episode of uh, uh, episode eighty. Let me give you a time and date stamp. It is seventeen hours and thirty-one minutes into the day of Wednesday. I think August twenty-fifth. If I'm not mistaken, I'll correct that one. If if I'm wrong, I'll correct it. But uh, so. Let's say August, August 25th, uh, yeah, seven, 17 hours and 13 minutes into the day of August uh, 25th. Let's see, Monday was the 21st, Tuesday was the 22nd, Wednesday was the 23rd, so today, yep, 24th, this is the 24th today, so it. Oh, wait a minute, I'm off. Today is Wednesday. This is the problem with, uh, so, so, Monday, Sunday was the, was the 20, 21st. Monday was the 22nd. Tuesday was the 23rd. Today, yeah, today is the third, Wednesday, the third, 24th. Uh, yeah, so it's the 24th today, so it's, uh, 17 hours and 14 minutes into the day of, day of, Wednesday, August 24th, 2016. So I figured it out. Uh, this is what happens when you lose track of your days, when you think uh, day is night and night is day, or you're only sleeping a couple hours in between uh, things. And that's what's happening here. I'm just taking two hour, uh, basically a two-hour rest before I have to get up again and start the next part of my day uh, from 7 till just about 3 o'clock in the morning. That will be my next uh, bit of work that I have to get done. So I'm taking a uh, couple hour break and uh, that's where I am right now. So I said I'm going to try to vlog more throughout the day. Uh, and uh, it, 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 while we have long days, it is, it, it's mostly studying, it's mostly research. That's what, in research is studying. They're part of the same thing. So it's a lot like being in middle school for the rest of your life. So. Uh, I don't have a problem. I, I enjoy this better than 9 to 5. If I really wouldn't want to do a 9 to 5 job, this is my sort of preference for things. So I'm happy with the way it is. So, yeah. Um, so, I don't have that much to say right now. So, I just wanted to make sure that I'm blogging uh, at a variety of different steps throughout the day. Making sure that I've got my, get, I'm getting into my schedule. The schedule's a little tough to get used to right now. I still haven't gotten everything done I've got need to get done. I finished the tablet for my customer early. So that should be going out uh, tonight, actually. I have uh, Ancient Greek scheduled for tonight. Let's see if I can get to church or not. Uh, if my ride falls through, then I won't be doing that. It will be 
uh, more of the uh, or research project doing atmospheric physics. Uh, I'll be looking more into the thermodynamics of things. I'm getting a better handle on things in terms of understanding the thermodynamics that's going on in terms of what I'm seeing actually. Uh, and some of the stuff actually violates thermodynamics that I'm seeing. So this is the whole thing here is you've got to take a look at what you're doing. Uh, does observation meet the textbook? If the observation does not meet the textbook, then you've got to start taking more careful notes on this because it's the observations that will eventually tell you what's going on. And this is, this, this is the sort of bleeding edge of research where you're going into things that don't necessarily meet up with a textbook and you're, and you're seeing something new that really hasn't been either really explored before or hasn't been uh, talked about much. In other words, it's, it's, it's sort of something that's hidden or unknown. And so this is where you have to, when you realize you're doing something like this, you re, you've, you're seeing something like that, you now start taking more careful notes because uh, the question is, are you just seeing this? Is this a pattern that comes back again? How long does that pattern come back for? How long does it stay? You know, if, if it's not a, a sort of a permanent pattern, let's say it's a temporary pattern instead of being a permanent pattern, uh, how long does it stay for? Uh, how large does it get? Uh, does it shrink? Does it grow? You know, the various different characteristics. So that next time it comes back, if, you, if it does go away, you can start tracking again. And this is what sort of makes a project like this really prolonged because things change with the season and as we are shifting our orbit the thermodynamics actually shifts as well so uh, this has to be accounted for as well so even if you do one whole se season right one whole one whole year for, or four seasons well one that's one whole year one whole orbit right accounting for all the positions in the orbit that's an entire year and so if you want to repeat that that pattern again, you want to see it again, you'll have to do a, a, a three or four years worth of observation. So that's a fair chunk of work to get done, fair chunk of observation to be out there all that time. And it has to be scheduled in with everything else they're trying to do, including the mundane, including the laundry, doing the dishes, doing the cooking, and everything else. So it does present a bit of a problem, a bit of a challenge. I uh, said every September, there's a struggle to get uh, into the into into the new schedule to see what projects are going to come into the uh, uh, into the schedule, see what you can sort of fit in there, and then it takes a while for about a month before you really sort of figure. Out, okay, this is what my standard routine is. Once you have your standard routine, then you start fitting, trying to fit some of the extra stuff that you sort of left off to the side. You start trying to fit that into the schedule as well. But the core of the schedule by usually by mid September is kind of fixed, and you've got an idea of where you're going. Anyways, that's my phone, and I will see you in a little bit. Democratic Earth. Earth.